particular you want to see or just the uh, well, progress? I want to see the progress of the team. Oh, we're fine. What, uh, what have you heard about Army and Gregorenko? Well, I've been here. I've seen it myself. But uh, we've had a, a two or three, one, two or three guys here from the big club every game, and uh, the reports have been good. Obviously, that they've, uh, Army has been really good uh, competing. Besides the skill, and you see his hands and offensive instinct, and offensive ability every night, but he's competing. He's, uh, as I said at the end of last year, when Certain people were disappointed in his seven goals or whatever that he was, he said then that he's no streak and violent. Uh, and I believe he has what it takes, takes besides the skill level, to play in the national hockey league. Seemed to come out in the playoffs for him. He turned that over. I just think it's when he got healthy, when he got confident. So I guess it takes close the playoffs, yeah. About the uh, Rigorenko and playing in all situations, yep. feeling benefit. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Come down here. He's had two uh, tough years as far as, um, you know, up and down. And I would say any young guy's confidence would be shaken from, you know, never knowing quite where you're going to be. So um, him knowing he's going to be here, uh, even though he probably was disappointing to send him here. Um, he's playing lots, like you said, in every situation. And we expect him to um, play well in all situations, not just offensively, not just in the power play. If you're going to be an initial player, you've got to be responsible defensively. You have to uh, uh, you have to compete. And, you know, so far so good. Did, did you want him on the penalty game? Did I to want learn him? That was, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the order, I mean, it doesn't. No, that's up to the coach. Okay. Time. They get judged every day, like players get judged every day. And we don't tell them what to, uh, who to play and, and, and how to play. Hesek had some rock really early. A couple of rock games here there. Uh, so you guys, when you get this sort of right, fully recovered or whatever else, uh, back up to Buffalo? Tomorrow? Uh, like, or well, what? just, you know, ASAP? Uh, no, no, I wanted to play here. I wanted to play here. We've got, we've got eight healthy people in Buffalo. Um, so I wanted to play here. I wanted to, I wanted to take charge here. I wanted to show that uh, when we do call him up, he's ready to play and ready to stay, not just uh, because it's his term or whatever somebody may think is how you get called up. It's, you get called up based on merit. Uh, we've got eight guys there right now that we deem to be the best eight guys, um, either by ability or contract status or both. And um, you've got a ways to start, just like everybody else. Any concern about the goalie? One in particular with he's not what he was. Well, I, I look at his state percentage, so yeah, I've got concerns for sure. With uh, somebody like Sesson, uh, I mean, how do you deal with the personality side of that? I mean, it's got to be frustrated. I don't have to deal with it. He has to deal with it. If he comes down here and sells and doesn't play well, he won't take all back up. That's, that's you know, the whole thing's in his, in his court. It has nothing to do with me whatsoever. He's got to come down here and play hard and show us that he wants to be a player. And if he does that, he'll get called up. Uh, when it comes to Chad Cassidy, you mentioned during the offseason evaluating everybody from what you've seen from what you've Well, the evaluation takes place every game, and at the end of 76, or what do they play here? 76. So 76, then, uh, and by us, then that's when we make our evaluation. Uh, players you can evaluate on five and ten, ten game segments if you want to. Uh, coaches, uh, scouts, management, whoever, it's a, it's a different process, I believe. Um, it's uh, results. One is results, other is uh, development. Um, I mean, we could finish last in this league this year and the fans will be pissed off and we won't be very happy in Buffalo. Um, if we get, uh, and that's certainly not what we want, but there are other ways to evaluate, and uh, making the playoffs is a big part, big one for me. But if we don't make the playoffs, if we do finish out, and you know, five or six guys mature here and become NHL players, that's also another way that you have to evaluate your team and your coaching staff. Great, Nerwin's having a big year in Elmira. He was Perfect. really, he was really good here last year at the end of the year. We signed him as a death guy, um, so I'm sure you'll see him here. Later than sooner, sooner than no, later. No, there's no timetable. Um, that's injuries. That's different things. But again, to me, that's yeah. It could be tomorrow. It could be in three weeks. But 
Uh, he, everybody knows what they signed on for. I know what I signed on for. Players know what they signed on for. They know their contract situation. They know who's ahead of them. They know who's behind them. So, you know, Braden's having a great year down there. I know the coaching staff likes him here. Um, so he's, he's forced us to pay attention. And when we need help here, when we make a trade, somebody gets injured, uh, we move a guy out of here. He's obviously going to be at the top of the uh, hill for consideration on who gets the call up from the wire. So, but I, I don't think it's, I, I think that that's what you have to do to get noticed. So, um, Conversely, do guys here not have to do something to stay? Yeah, they do, or stay in the lineup at least. That's what, yeah. But there are contracts involved, obviously. He signed a East Coast League contract, or a one-way, sorry, a one-way, what did he sign? He signed a one-way HL contract. So, I mean, you know, there's flexibility there. But we have Justin Kia down there. It's not, you know, it's, we've got different, we've had Austin down there. I think we sent Sunder there at the start of the year, and then he had to come back up, or did come back up. It's, it's, uh, you know, contracts do come into play. There's no question about it. You guys all know that. But um, it's based on merit. He's gone down there. It's early in the year. He's played very well. Um, so if we do need a player, I don't know why. I don't know why he wouldn't be a strong consideration. But would you send guys down, a Sunder or a Kanachi or whoever? I mean, if you look at no yeah. points in 12 well, games. Well, no points. That's tough. We don't score in this organization. So. Um, I don't know if I can judge somebody on goals right now. I don't want to. I don't want to be that tough on a player. Uh, no, but I mean, you know, he's leading. The, he's, he's scoring down there. Does that mean when he gets here, he's going to score? I'm not sure that that's the case. But does he deserve a look because he scored down there? Absolutely. Um, would we bring him up here and send a guy down? I don't know about that. Would we bring him up here and play him ahead of a guy that's here? Sure. Anybody else? Um, you're going to have to ask me a question. <laughs> Tim, what have you seen from them this month, over the first month of the I've seen good games and I've seen bad games. So, it's early in the season, we have some new players. Um, you know, I was in Hamilton on the... I had to get out of bed early and make the trek there and I wasn't very happy after the game. So, uh, But I've seen a couple games here that uh, I've liked. I'd like to see better, more consistency. I'd like to see a little more uh, effort, a little more, maybe not effort, a little more compete, uh, compete properly, and the rest will come. But uh, again, I'm not going to, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to judge people. We judge every day, but there has to be a, an end result, and we're far, we're a long ways off from the end result. What's the team can be. You said you make a trade, are you? 